Okay. All right, slinging in here with balance and composure. Um, to, uh, 1029, 2010. Uh, if you guys just want to go around and give your name and what you do in the band. I'm now Warner. I play bass and balance and composure. I'm Bailey and I play the drums. All right. I uh, just got ten basic questions. Uh, like I said, we didn't know if we were going to be interviewing you guys, so I didn't have a chance to actually get to put some right. really good questions mm-hmm. together. Um, but if we can get a, uh, email, a contact email, mm-hmm. I'd be more than happy to write up some yeah, some other fine. questions yeah. and, and combine them with this. That's fine. Sure. Cool. All right. Um, who is your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, feel free to name them and the shop they work at. Uh, um, yeah, we go to the, we go to the same guy. It's this yeah. it's this guy uh, in Philadelphia. It's like he lives where he works 45 minutes from where we are, and his name's Martin Lacasse. Uh, and he tattoos out of a shop called Old City Tattoo. Right on. And uh, yeah, everybody there's awesome. Um, but I think I don't know. We're just fans of the artwork that he does. So yeah. he does um, a lot of cool shit. Yeah. I've also been tattooed by uh, the Gus at Old City as well, and I know our singer John has been tattooed by Scott Smith, who also tattoos at Old City, um, right on. all out of the same shop. Cool. All right, uh, what is the inspiration behind your music, um, and you can also give examples of uh, influences if you have any as well. Yeah, um, I mean, we all, being in a band, I don't think that, I don't know, uh, we're all involved in like the writing process, I guess, and so um, that being said, there's like a lot of different, I guess, influences. Uh, I mean, everybody will come with an idea or something, and I don't know. It's usually when something's bothering us or, or something like that. But uh, but I guess we draw like influence from a bunch of different bands. Um, I don't know. I personally try not to listen to a lot of music when when I do like write stuff or just I don't know I try to I try to write stuff that's different I guess uh, but but I mean there's obviously bands that we all listen to like right. Sunny Day Real Estate uh, we listen to like a lot of 90s stuff I guess like Mineral and uh, Texas is the Reason and bands like that um, so so yeah cool any input on that or uh, <laughs> some more bands, I guess, would be uh, Neutral Milk Hotel and Jawbreaker and cool stuff like that. Alright, uh, Balance and Composure. How did you guys come up with that band name? What's the reasoning? No idea. It just sounded cool, I guess. John came up with it, yeah, our singer, absolutely. so... Uh, yeah. A lot of people just call us Balance. We, we, we've always thought that we should just change our name to that, but... <laughs> I don't know. It's I guess it's kind of too late to do that, but uh, but yeah. Uh, you guys got any crazy tour stories or any crazy fan stories? Um, crazy tour story on the first on the first tour we ever went out on. Um, we brought a good friend of ours, and he was complaining all day about how he really needed this shit. And um, I guess we were kept putting that off all day because we were driving. And he ended up shooting himself. Oh no! In our in our van, so it was, it was pretty messy. Yeah. Definitely part of foul there. We, a yeah. more <laughs> a more unique one. We we stayed at this hotel like in Buffalo, I guess. Or it was like Watertown, New York, and it was like the same hotel that like these backup singers for like the Kings of Leon were staying at or something. And they were all like middle aged women, and uh, we we were on tour with like Man Overboard at the time and. We got, like, a hotel room at, like, the top floor, and I guess we were, like, causing a lot of noise or whatever, so somebody complained, and the police were called, and they came upstairs, and one of the guys who was doing merch for us was, like, stuck downstairs on, like, an elevator with these moms, and they, they like, invited him into his, into their room and everything, and they were, like, <laughs> they were, like, caressing him, and, and <laughs> yeah, that, that was, that was kind of funny. Yeah, and all the moms were, like, super drunk. Uh, which is kind of funny. Gotta yeah, love the cougars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys have any pre-show rituals that you do? Not really. Not really. I just, I just try to keep moving. If I s- sit still, then I, I don't know, I start freaking out. I pace a lot, I guess. ADD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. All right. Besides from balance and composure, do you guys have any side projects going on? That does. Uh, I mean, not really. I, a friend of mine, um, 
Uh, the singer is a band called Transit uh, from Boston, and I kind of just started doing a side project. Um, it's called Passing. Uh, it's just like acoustic stuff. Sweet. Um, how does it feel knowing that your music inspires and helps so many people through some really tough times in everyday life? Oh, it's definitely cool. I, it's not. I don't think it's like something that we try doing, but uh, the uh, people can like relate to it and everything. I guess it's. It's cool that there's def- other people. Yeah, it's it. definitely cool. I mean, we all love making music. That's the reason why we do what we do. But it's definitely cool that we can share that with other people and someone else can really get something out of that. Right on. Um, do you guys have any advice for any young aspiring musicians that are trying to be where you're at? Just to keep playing shows. I mean... Keep at it. Yeah, that's honestly... If, if you put the time in, then, then you'll eventually be rewarded. As yeah. long as you don't entirely suck so. <laughs> as depressing as it can be I mean we played Chicago a couple nights ago and there was like it's like a sold out show the time nice. before that we played Chicago it was like seven people oh wow so you never know like what's gonna happen what tour is gonna come up and you just gotta keep at it right on um, how often do you guys go on tour and how does it affect <clears throat> your uh, family life uh, we've I mean we kind of put everything on hold about I don't know like six months ago or something uh, I stopped going to school. Everybody stopped going to yeah. school, really, and we kind of made the decision to be like a full-time band. Uh, I mean, yeah, as far as like family life and everything, everybody has a girlfriend except for me. Uh, <laughs> so I don't. I guess I don't really know what that's like, but I know they're always like <laughs> texting and calling their girlfriend. Girl, girlfriend time. <laughs> yeah, there's always we like girlfriend listen. time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I talk to my parents pretty often. So you guys are a fairly young band? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And last but not least, do you guys got any big plans for the future other than than, uh, this tour? you guys got any other tours coming up, new album? What can your fans expect? Uh, We're recording our full length, our debut full length in January with uh, Brian McTernan in in Baltimore. He did, uh, like, Hot Water Music. Um, Nice. He did the new Census Fell record as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fell. Yeah, and, that was a pretty uh, badass album. What else did he do? He did, I think he did like a Texas is the Reason EP, and he did... He did a lot of movie life records as yeah, well. Yeah, Circus Survives 2, nice. uh, first <coughs> record, so yeah. We're, we're really excited to super excited. be working with him. Yeah. Nice. Well, I did definitely thank you guys for taking the time to uh, come out and do this.